Investing in rental properties for beginners. Oh, one of my favorite topics. I love getting people interested in investing in real estate, not just buying a home and hoping they'll live in it and it'll appreciate over years, but really thinking outside the box how to increase their wealth through real estate. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Stick around. Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes, but today I'm going to talk about how to help you buy investment properties, properties that can be rented. And since the title has four beginners in it, I am going to assume this will be your first time thinking about either buying a separate property or how to create a rental property on your property. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you own a home in San Jose and you have a 6,000 square foot lot and you're debating, can I pull some equity out of this house and go buy another property? Or what are my options? One really fantastic option is to add an ADU. An ADU is an accessory dwelling unit. And over the last few years, cities have really lowered the requirement of lot sizes to be able to add a separate structure on the property. So in San Jose, I believe now the lot size only needs to be 5,445 square feet to be able to add, I think it's up to a 700 or 640 square foot uh, second dwelling. And you're constantly revising the measurements and sizing. So bear with me on how accurate those numbers are, but you can put a one bedroom or at least a studio building on your property that you can rent. And we all know how expensive it is to live in the Bay Area. I mean, even a studio like that with its own, probably like a little patio of some sort in a neighborhood, not in an apartment building, could probably rent for, gosh, at least $1,800 uh, a month, depending on your location, of course. Uh, but that's a great option. Instead of having to get pre-approved for an investment loan, which, you know, the rates are a little bit higher and maybe you're gonna need a lot more down payment and it's really kind of a little bit more than you're willing to take on the overhead and the risk. What about just getting an equity line for your current house and adding this ADU? There's a lot of different ways to do it. I mean, honestly, Amazon even has some prefabbed ones. I have guys that can put it together for a lot less than actually constructing from you know, scrap to having a studio or a one bedroom house on your property. But think about how great that extra income will be. You could either, either use it to offset your current mortgage and just kind of free up a little bit of money each month, or you could take that rental income, put it aside and keep building your wealth to be able to go buy something else. I almost forgot to mention one of the biggest pieces of this is the value that it will add to your current property. So you will really increase the value by adding the ADU in addition to having the extra income. Second option would be, would you be willing to move? So let's say you live in San Jose in a small two, one or three bedroom, two bath, something like that. Would you be willing to move to uh, maybe a more expensive area and, and go into a duplex? Some people might think going from a single family house into a duplex is a downgrade, but not from a real estate perspective. If you move to a better location, let's say you're in South San Jose and you can buy a duplex in Sunnydale, Campbell, maybe even Los Gatos, something like that, you can move into one side and you can rent out the other. It's called house hacking. It's a fantastic way to get really a, your first rental property without having to go get, like I said, an investment loan or having an entirely separate location as a rental property. Again, this is for beginners. This isn't for everybody. Some people like Annie, go buy the second house. I get it, but we gotta start somewhere, everybody. So those are two options, either adding an ADU, accessory dwelling unit to your current property or moving into a duplex. My third option would be Let's say you're really happy with where you're living and you don't feel like the lot size would feel right to have an ADU and you're not willing to move to a duplex and you'd really still like to get your first rental property and you want to stay local, but you just don't have all the funds. What about partnering with someone? It's a great option. I know people say, oh my gosh, don't get involved with family members or close friends. But if you have everything written out and really spelled out from the beginning, and I would recommend getting an attorney involved to have everything spelled out so there are no misunderstandings, 
but it's a fantastic way to get into the rental market here in Silicon Valley. It is hard to do. So I'm hoping those are a couple options you haven't thought about. If you want to talk about your specific situation and what you're considering, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's what I'm here for. I love talking about this stuff. I have a link below. You can set up a time to talk to me and you don't have to really exactly know what you're going to talk about, but just set the appointment and we can brainstorm together. Everybody's situation is different and I love thinking outside the box how we can make your first rental property part two of my investing in rental properties for beginners series is talking about leaving the bay area not going out of california but leaving the immediate area to buy your first rental property so i hope to see you on that video so do me a favor if you liked anything give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and so until next time have a great one